I'm gonna show you how to take your canvas pages from something like this into something like this. And it is so much easier than you might think. Now we're gonna use a little bit of programming, but I'm not a programmer. So I'm gonna show you a really, really easy way to get to some really wonderfully formatted pages. Let's start by adding some background color for this page. So I'm gonna hit edit and I wanna grab the HTML code. So I can click on this HTML editor. Now I know that I'm on a page, but you will have this rich content editor and the HTML editor in so many places in Canvas. You've got these in announcements, assignments, discussion boards, so many places. I'm gonna click on the HTML editor and it looks crazy, right? This is all of the coding that goes into that page. I'm gonna show you how to put the programming in. And this is for those of you that are good at HTML programming. I am not one of those people. So if you hang on for just a second, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And then we're gonna have ChatGPT come up with this for me. I'm just gonna put my cursor right there at the very beginning. And then I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna arrow up and I'm gonna add a div. And a div is just a division. It's just gonna be some formatting that applies to everything below it until I hit the end div, if that makes sense. Okay, so anyway, I want a div space, and then I do style equals, and then quotation marks. This is where I'm gonna put my style stuff in. Now I really want to put in a color that's complementary to the image that I have here. So I'm gonna go over to coolers.co. I love this for so many reasons. This site, number one, it does pretty much everything I need it to do for free. Um, it also gives me an accessibility score for contrasting colors, which is amazing. Or even better, you can get a color palette based on an image. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go to the image picker and I don't want that image, I want my own image. So browse images, I'm just looking for that napping image again. So female nap on the couch, open. And now I can either move through the slider here and see how those little circles move around. I can also just move the circles so that they're grabbing what I want. I want the jean color, I want maybe that, and I want maybe this color as well, and I've got that pink color, that's great. I'm gonna export the palette, but I want it to be in that generator. So I'm gonna click the down arrow, and I'm going to open in generator. This way I can get to some colors that are complementary to the colors that I've got in that photo. Lots of different ways you can do this though. This is just my favorite. So I've got this midnight green, but that's gonna be way, way, way too dark as a background color. If I hover over any of these colors, I get all of these other tools. I want the one with these little lines that say view shades. I want a much, much, much lighter shade of this. Maybe that one's actually too light. Let's go ahead and pick this Alice blue. I'm gonna copy the hex code by clicking that and then back to the article. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do this easier. We're gonna type in background, did I spell that right? Background dash color colon. And then I want um, the number symbol, so hashtag. And then I'm gonna paste that hex code in. So control V to paste. And then I'm gonna close it with a semicolon. And then I wanna close it with the pointy bracket. So shift close with the pointy bracket. I do not wanna end the div yet. I want this to apply to everything. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom. I'm gonna click at the very end of my code and then enter. And then I wanna put that end div, that slash div. Okay, so I'm gonna go pointy bracket and then it guessed slash div, or you could type that in. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, this looks great. Um, it looks like I could use some space around the edges and um, maybe a little lighter color. Now, I just did this from scratch, but I promised that I was gonna show you the much, much easier way to do this. And it's not only easier, but I'm gonna argue that it's better. So even though I just did all of that, I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay, let's ask ChatGPT. So I'm gonna open up ChatGPT. I am logged in and I recommend that you be logged into the free version of ChatGPT also. I like being logged in because it remembers the stuff that I've done before, which is great. So I'm just gonna ask it for the code. Can you give me the code I need to add a 
very light bluish, I think that's how you spell it, gray color to the background of my page in Canvas LMS. I add Canvas LMS. Sometimes it gets confused that I just want like painting on a canvas or something. So um, Canvas LMS. I also want some room between the text and the edge of the color background. Enter. That's all I need. Okay, so let's see what it comes up with. It's going to come up with something really, really close to what I came up with, which is amazing. As I scroll down, it also explains everything. So here's that HTML code background color. You don't need to remember it. And honestly, this is how I learned how to do this is through um, ChatGPT. It also added the padding and it added a border radius, which is great. Okay, so we are going to just copy this. Notice how it starts with div. So that's gonna start me with a division at the top of my page. I'm just gonna copy all of this, Control C, and then back to my unformatted article. Let's click Edit. So easy, right? I do wanna to go to the HTML editor, so I'm gonna click on that icon. I want my cursor here at the very top, and then I need to hit enter, so I've got some room. Okay, so now line one is empty. I already copied it, so I'm gonna do a control V or command V if you're on a Mac. Okay, amazing. If I go back to chat GPT, it says this is what you want at the top, and then this stuff right here, it says here's all your stuff in the middle. We have our page stuff in the middle, and then it says don't forget to put your end div at the bottom. I'm just going to copy that end div instead of typing it. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Notice I'm just ignoring everything else. Hit enter at the end, and then control V. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to click on that HTML um, toggle to get back to my rich content editor, and it looks amazing. Okay, let's continue adding some color. Next, let's add that color block. Where's my other article? Let's add that color block that we had for the key takeaways. So I want another color block here and it's going to be nested inside, which is actually really easy to do. I want to grab a color that's similar to this one. So I'm going to go over to my article here and I want to switch to the HTML editor and I really want to find where it says key takeaway. So I could read through all of this or I could do a control F or maybe command F on a Mac and I want to look for the word key. I do not want duration is key. I want key which is right here, key takeaways. Let me close that. So I want it to be right above. I want that color block to start right above this H3 key takeaways. So I'm going to put my cursor before the H3 and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm just going to arrow up to the line above. I want that div language here and I can just copy it. I don't actually need to reinvent anything. I'm going to copy it from the very, very top. I really just need to change the color. So I'm going to do a control C to copy that language. I'm going to look for that blank line, which was right here. And then I'm going to do a control V. Um, I don't want that color. So I don't want the same color. Let's go find a color from our color palette. I want this Dutch white. So I'm going to copy the hex code and then now I want to make sure I'm highlighting just the numbers and then do a control V. You want to make sure you've got that semicolon after your color. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm going to go to the end of my key takeaways and I'm going to put an end div so it knows it's done with that style. Okay, so incorporating well, and it's right before the all done. So I'm just going to go right before the all done, enter. And I want a blank one and I just want an end div here, which you could totally just copy. I'm just going to type it in here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to toggle back to the rich content editor. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And now I've got this in that lighter color. You could totally change the colors here as you are going if you wanted things to stand out a little bit more. Okay, is it getting better? Thanks to ChatGPT. The next thing that I wanted to do, let's take a look at our article. Um, I really liked this heading here with the benefits of napping. I liked that banner behind it. So this one is not a div. Instead, I am actually changing the background color of that heading, but I'm going to use the same background color that we just used. Okay, so back to our article. 
let's go back to the code. Now I am looking for um, benefits of napping. Again, you could do a control F and type in benefits. And here is benefits of napping. Let me get her off of this. So here it is right here, the benefits of napping. So what I wanna do, I wanna add to this H2 style. So I'm gonna add to the H2 style. We already have text align center. I'm gonna just put my cursor right next to that and I wanna add my background color. And I'm gonna find that background color from those key takeaways, which is right here. So I wanna add background color, this background color like that. Okay, so control C to copy. And then back up to where I was. This is the hardest part, just finding where you are. The benefits of napping, which is right here. I'm gonna put it here and then do a control V. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And I've got that banner. Um, let's click save just so we don't lose something and mess it up. Speaking of, if you did mess something up and you're like, oh my gosh, I just wanna start back at the beginning, all you need to do is to click the three dots, do view page version history. You will see just how many page versions I have. You can go back to one of the old versions and it will show you what these old versions look like. And then you can choose the one that you want. Okay, but I wanna leave it there. Okay, so you guys are getting so much better. Now let's add a background color to our image. I really wanna add a background color, so I'm just getting like picky now. I really just wanna add a background color that matches her jeans. So let's go back to our palette. Um, her jeans were this color, right? So let's get this palette into our generator. So into the generator. And then I want a lighter shade. So I want a lighter shade, maybe something like, oh, I like that color a lot. Okay, I'm going to copy this one. Um, copy. I might need to go back and copy in case I end up copying something else. So back to our article. So just like we changed the background color for the heading, we're gonna change the background color for the image. Again, as opposed to an entire space area that has the background color, we're just changing the background color of a particular item now. Okay, so let's go to our editor. So I'm gonna do edit, and then I wanna go to my HTML editor, and I'm looking for image, and the image is an IMG, and it's at the top, so it's pretty easy to find. So here I've got image style. So I already have some style things with my image. I wanna add another style piece, and that other style piece is going to be some background color. So we're gonna do background color, and let's add some padding as well. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna to have to recopy my color. I'm gonna put it right here where the style starts and do a control V. Um, I don't want that much padding. I think I want maybe just five. You can come back and change it. And I do want a different background color. That's not the color I want. Let's go back to our palette. Is it this one? This one, this one. Okay, let me copy this and then back here. I've got that highlighted. I don't want the hashtag highlighted and I don't want the semicolon highlighted, just the numbers and then a control V. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Um, I, it could be larger. Let's go back. And that padding, I'm gonna change that padding instead. Let's just double it to be a 10. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. That looks great. And then I can hit save. There are just two more things that we've got left to do to make it look more like our sample. So to make it look more like our sample, I really like this horizontal line showing up thicker and in a different color. And I really like this delineation here at the bottom with the all done and the text in white. So let's do that. And back to our page, let's do that using ChatGPT. So back to ChatGPT, um, can you give me the HTML code for a horizontal line in um, horizontal line in Canvas LMS um, with a bluish green color, and we can change the color if we need to, um, and a um, thickness of about I'm just going to say four pixels. We can change that as we go. Okay, so let's see what it gives me. 
absolutely bluish green color okay so there's my background color which you guys are getting really good at this i can totally change right so i've got my horizontal line style right there okay let's grab it and it gives me some more information here let's go ahead and grab that just going to copy it Control c and let's go find the horizontal line it's actually horizontal rule in html here is our amazing looking article so far now I already have a horizontal line on this page, but it's really hard to see. The default is really light. I wanna show you how I did it though using the rich content editor. So I'm in my page, I'm gonna to go to edit. Um, let's scroll down here to where it is. It's right above recommendations. Let me backspace to get rid of that. I wanna show you how it got there. To put a horizontal line in, and I use this a ton, I do insert and then horizontal line but we can make this so much better. So now I'm gonna do a control F. Oh, I'm gonna to go to my HTML editor first. I'm gonna do a control F. I wanna find that horizontal line. HR is what I'm looking for. Now there are a lot of HRs, but I'm looking for the HR, that's my horizontal rule. Um, here it is. Okay, HR is right here. And I am going to just highlight right over this. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I'm gonna use ChatGPT's coding right there. So I've got ChatGPT's coding. I feel like I need a little slash at the end, but let's see what this looks like. And I was wrong. I do not need a little slash at the end. Let's actually use the color from our color palette instead, this one. I'm gonna copy that hex, is it getting better? And then back to our HTML editor. I want, I'm looking for that HR, HR right here's my HR. And I wanna change that color to Control V. Okay, and then code. So it turns out ChatGPT knew exactly what it was doing. I also wanna put that background color on the all done. Let's make that all done centered, which I'm just gonna do right here. So all done centered. Now I know how to do this one. I don't need to ask ChatGPT. So we're gonna just wing it, knowing that we've got ChatGPT if we need it. Okay, so here's that text all done. I knew it was towards the bottom, so I knew I would be able to find it. And I already have some style here, and I wanna add that background color to the style. I'm gonna grab the background color from my image. So here's my background color from the image. I am just gonna copy this, control copy, and I wanna add that to the all done H2 style. So I'm gonna put my cursor right there after the quotes and do a control V. I've got my semicolon there. So I've got my background color, that all looks good. Text align, there's one more thing that I wanna change and that's the text color. So I'm gonna say, what is the code to change my text color to white? And again, it remembers, it says, oh, you're still in Canvas, and I am, and I want to change it. It says, this is blue. Didn't I say white? And actually, I know that I can just type the color white. So just once color, colon. Okay, let's go back. And then I'm going to do here, color, colon, white, semicolon. Okay, and then let's see what it looks like. We'll hit save. And here is our much, much, much improved article. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I've got another video for you here.